Hi everyone and welcome to the ECG tips. My name is Hisham Ibrahim. I'm one of the emergency medicine consultants in the United Kingdom. And today we're going to carry on with our ECG tip number four, and that will be the second part of it. So in the first part, we talked about the STEMI definition. And if you remember well, we said that one millimeter of ST elevation is more than enough anywhere in the ECG, except V2 and V3. And we've also talked about the rules for V2 and V3 and when to consider the elevation there as STEMI. The only thing that we haven't covered in the previous part was the posterior wall STEMI. So let's quickly talk about this. So when it comes to posterior wall STEMI, there are few important things that you need to be aware of. First of all, it's one of the most commonly missed STEMIs and it's often misdiagnosed as ischemia or non-STEMI. And some studies showed that um, about 30% of posterior wall STEMIs are revascularized within 90 minutes of arrival to ED which is a really uh, low number of patients that it means that we're missing a lot and that shouldn't have happened. So the question now is, so how many millimeters of ST elevation do you need for posterior wall STEMI to consider it positive? That is the question that we're going to talk about this time. And the answer to this question is here. So this is coming from the European Society of Cardiology STEMI guidelines that was published in 2017. And there is a really important table there that talks about the atypical ECG presentations that should prompt primary PCI activation. And one of these presentation is isolated posterior wall myocardial infarction. And the answer is there. 0.5 millimeter of a change is enough. So if you do the anterior leads and you find 0.5 or more of ST depression in V1 and to V3, then you suspect posterior wall myocardial infarction. Then you do your posterior leads. And, and if you find more than um, 0.5 millimeter of ST elevation there, so posterior leads of V7 to V9, you're done. This is a STEMI. So this is Ha this is the level of details that you'll need to get out of the ECG. This is how meticulous you should be with ECG interpretation. We're talking about 0.5 millimeter of a change. So that's uh, this part about the posterior wall STEMI and, uh, and that will be the end of the STEMI definition part. So I hope you find this useful. We're gonna carry on uh, with further tips uh, very soon. So uh, stay safe and thanks for your time.